You know, we've had a lot of predictions on the program about the price of oil, and this is important because the price of oil is important for the stock market and certainly for the price of gasoline, which is falling sharply. We need a professional, and here is Stephen Shork, the man behind the Shork Report. All right, let's get straight at it, Stephen. Where's the bottom yes. for the price of oil? Zero. No, 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 no. no. You, know, you know what I'm talking about. Is it 45? Is it 50? Is it 54? Is, are we at the bottom now? Where is it? No, no, I mean, from a production standpoint, we're at the bottom, but no one can tell. This is the proverbial steward, uh, falling dagger. Go ahead and buy it and, and risk trying to catch that falling dagger. What we have here, Stuart, and, and I'll, I'll just preface it preface this with the fact that uh, I have an advantage because I do produce a daily letter, so I am accountable for everything I say on a daily basis. Uh, what we're seeing right now is some major energy fund is absolutely blowing up, and this is the catalyst of what we've seen. Over the past month, we've had a 25% decline in crude oil prices, and at the same time, a 30% increase in natural gas prices. Stuart, fundamentals simply do not move that fast to that degree. So there is a large trader, a prop house, that is losing a lot of its own money right now because they obviously had the wrong position going into this, uh, oh. into this debacle at this point. So it, what, what you're saying so, is this yeah. is a technical thing. This is not a fundamental supply and demand thing. The sharp decline in the price of oil, which we saw in the last couple of days, that's all about a big fund having to unwind its position. Uh, is, is that what's going on? That's logically the only thing that really makes sense. Because uh, okay. what happened, in, and what my readers, I was telling my readers is, we had a big rally at the end of the demand season in August and through September. This made no sense because demand was at its weakest. As we found out through the CFTC data, large proprietary traders had been buying up crude oil through this rally. The problem now is they are long. Liquidity is down 10%, and they are being forced to exit the market in a low liquidity market, and they are being made to exit their positions okay, so at we are, extreme we are close to the low. $54, $55 a barrel is very close to the low, in your opinion, yes? Uh, yes, uh, as okay. far as all the oil traders on okay. Nymex, How about I would say the price we are of, searching at the bottom. I've got to ask about the price yeah. of gasoline. Are we going down sure. to like 250 national average, 230 national average, 267 now? Right. So there is a historically a two cent relationship with the price of crude oil to the retail price. So with giving 12 consecutive days of declines in oil prices, we are certainly headed lower in, in gasoline prices. But let's keep in mind... We're, the, we're at that DY over DX moment. I want a number. I want a number. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't give a, I don't care about the DX, DY. I don't know anything about all of yeah. that. Give me a number. How far down no. is the national average for gasoline going to go? Uh, I, you know, honestly, Stuart, what, what, to tell me, what is the I, I don't care what the national average is. Well, what, I, what do. Is it? I, I <laughs> care. Most people do. Our okay. viewers do. <laughs> all right. Look, Stephen, I'm sorry I'm out of time. We'll, we'll grab you again all next right. time. Good luck.